This week we're thinking about adding tens on to a number. So what I thought I would do is just remind you of what happens <clears throat> on our number square when we add tens and when we take away tens and how we can use a number square to help us. We're all really used to using these number squares in school. Hopefully you've all got one at home. If you haven't, there is one on Seesaw for you to have a look at and print off as well. Or if you need one sending to you, just let me know, okay? So let's choose a number on the number square. So for example, if I chose the number 16. So when I add 10 to a number, we move down our number square. Okay, so if I'm just adding 10, if my number sentence was 16, add 10, I'm just adding 10. Now see what happens to the numbers. When we add 10, the 10's number changes, but the 1's stays the same. There's a 6 here, there's a 6 here. So the 1's is staying the same, okay? So that's something to think about when you're adding tens into your numbers. And if we go down that number square in that column there, you can see each time, if we add 10, add 10, add 10, the ones stays the same and it's the tens number that is changing, okay? So if you do a number sentence where you are adding a tens number, so for example, if I had 23, add 30, which is another tens. For my answer, I would expect that because the ones is the, the thing that stays the same and it's the tens that changes, I would expect that my ones in my answer is going to be a three because look, I'm not adding anything in the ones. If I put above there tens, ones, tens, ones, you can see that I'm not adding anything to this number in the ones. So my answer is definitely going to have a three in the ones column. And it's just the tens that's changing. So let me just rub that off there. Let's find 23. Put a circle around it and add 30. So 10, 20, 30 and you can see the ones is the same it's the tens that's changing and my answer is 53 okay the same if we are subtracting instead of coming down the number square we're going to go back up the number square taking away but the ones again if we're taking away the ones isn't changing, it's the tens that's changing. Hopefully that will help you with using your number square with your adding this week.